Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on the BSN. If you guys are interested, let's get into the nitty gritty. So you're on the fence about the BSN, whether or not you should get it. You got your associate's degree in nursing, you've been a nurse for a while, you've been working. What's the point, right? If you were maybe a new grad and you can't get a job because you have an associate's, there's a potential that you will need the BSN. But if you're already an established nurse and you're thinking, why should I do it? This video is for you. So sometimes you work in a magnet hospital, so you're required to get a BSN. So that's on you, you gotta get it. But if you don't work at a magnet hospital, it's entirely up to you. But I'm gonna tell you why I think you should do it. So I had my associates in nursing with a bachelor's degree in something else. And I figured when I go back to school, I'll just find a, a program that has a bridge so I can go from straight from the associates in nursing to some other degree like a master's in nursing or something else but truthfully I found that it was limiting my options when it came to going back to school and I think that's why you should do your BSN because it's really it's busy work time flies as it is so if you're working you might as well do it online and then it really isn't an issue because then you will have your degree and you can apply to any program you want in the future and it doesn't have to be right away but I think that way that you have at least more doors open if you understand what I'm trying to say. So I'm not trying to advocate for the BSN but I feel like it just, it's just better for you if you do it and in the end too you can probably get raises at work. Um, you, you open your doors for more hospitals too because if they require a bachelor's like a magnet hospital then you really have no problem you have it already you don't have to sign a contract saying that you're gonna get it in a certain amount of years you know it's just like why not um, I'll tell you my experience now with my BSN and how I feel like it helped me in the long run so I had my associates, like I said, in my previous videos and this one too, and I felt like I was perfectly content with it. So then, um, more and more times I kept getting the, have you gotten your BSN? Are you going to get your BSN? Have you applied? Are you in a program? So I was like, man, is it like that serious that I need to get it? And then, I mean, I was also working at a magnet hospital and I signed a contract for, that I would get it in the next five years, which five years, it's a long time if you think about it. So, I decided why not just sign up for it right away. So as soon as I was done with school, I signed up maybe like less than a semester later and it took a little bit to get in, but as soon as I started, I made sure to do as many classes as I could because I was, I was just working and I had time, so I might as well get it knocked out. Um, I did wait a little bit because I was orienting um, when I first got hired, so I figured I can't be orienting and going to school, so let's wait a bit. So I waited the until I was done with orientation, I applied for, like, I had deferred my application. And I got started, I started with four classes, then I took three classes, and then it was two, but it was kind of like four because it was clinicals and lecture. Don't want to talk about it anymore. But I was able to do it in three semesters. I, I don't think that you need to do that, but I feel like if you just knock out the classes, you know, time, like I said, time passes anyway. So I did it in one year. In one year I got my BSN and now all these doors are open. I can apply to any program I want. And on top of that, I got really good grades in my BSN, so it helped me because in my associates, I didn't do the grades. I didn't do bad, but I didn't do the grades. Um, so it's just like, it helped boost my GPA. I learned a lot actually when it came to research and doing research because I had to do a lot of classes that involved research papers. I'm telling you, super busy work and useless information. But the style of having to do research papers was something that I learned in nursing because I had to do research papers in my other bachelor's, but now that you know that, right? Point being is, I think that you should do it. I think it's important. Um, you know, it's really not knowledge that you need because it's not like you're learning anything pertinent to nursing. Like the knowledge that you have from your, your associates is enough. Like it's not going to get you any better. Um, you, like you might go go into farm or patho. Cooper, Cooper. I don't necessarily feel like the information you gain from the bachelor's degree is essentially necessary, but. There are some classes that will boost your knowledge in nursing. So like I did mostly research classes and like ethics and other things because I didn't necessarily take those when I was doing my first bachelor's degree. So then it was like I was just filling in the gaps. 
But um, like I did take farm, and although I I took farm, I took farm when I did my first bachelor. So it was really uh, when I did the nursing degree. So it really wasn't knowledge that I gained. It was maybe reinforced knowledge. But then there was also patho, and I feel like patho. I mean, it just gives you like a background as to like what's going on in the disease processes. But it helps you, but not necessarily your patient care because it's not like you're going to be able to explain that to someone because it's just way too complicated. But it will help you kind of understand more or less what's really going on or like on a cellular level, if you know what I'm saying. Um, but it was a difficult class, so that's probably one of the hardest things. But anywho, the bachelor's degree that I did, I was able to take equivalency tests for like the important classes that we already took like um, I took uh, an equivalency test for maternal OB peds that was one and then psych that was another one and it was like a general med surge so with those tests I was able to knock off a year of school because I got 10 credits each test and that's 30 30 credits and that's pretty much a whole year of school so I only had to do 30 credits worth of coursework and then the 30 credits worth in tests, and that made up for my 60 credits necessary to graduate, and I was able, that's why I was able to do it in a year. So if you can find a program like that, I recommend it, because all you have to do is really like grit down and study for those tests, and it really saves you a lot of time. The test could be a bit pricey, but the amount of, that you pay for a test is still less than what you pay for semester credits, because it adds up. You know, if it's a three credit class, you know, it could be more. So I recommend to find a program that has those equivalency tests for the major classes that you already took while you were in nursing school. That way you don't have to waste time and it's already knowledge that you have. I mean, if you find that you need to, you know, relearn it, then do that. And anyways, like I said, time passes. So it's really entirely up to you. That's pretty much it for this video, guys. I know this video is short and sweet, but I think it's important. I feel like you should work on your BSN. That way you can open more doors and you can actually better yourself in the future. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments as to how I went through my BSN program or what I did or tips that you need, comment down below. I'll be more than happy to help. All right, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye. I apologize for looking super rough. I've been working six in a row. Please do forgive. Okay.